three things before we get started. One, all the developers and website developers and I've been getting a few recently who messaging me and emailing me about creating a website and having all my information and my style and my teaching methods accessible to students in whatever program. Before you come up with the idea, just make sure that the service is free to the student. Otherwise, it's a no for me. The second thing is my main goal in creating the channel is not to get lesson students. Before I started this channel, I was already up to the brim in private lessons. That was one of the reasons I started the channel, to reach as many students as possible and help as many students as possible. And the third thing is, yesterday, May the 2nd, that was my son's second birthday. So drop some love for him in the comments and I'll let him read it. completing the square question before I cap out. Express the function f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 4x minus 13 in the form. This is the completing the square form. So let's go to our clean page and do this. 2x squared minus 4x minus 13. So that's the equation. Let's see if you can put that in the completing the square form. First thing, rip out the a, x squared minus 2x minus 13. Then let's just skip Let's just skip the intermediate line and go to this line one time. So that's 2 by x, half of that is negative 1. To be squared, take away 13. Uh, let's not put the take away 13 yet because that number may change depending on what we have to do. So we're adding in 1 squared, some body child crying in the background, I hope it's not mine. So the, so the intermediate line will be 2 into x squared minus 2x. And we're going to use this number squared, we need to add that in negative 1 to be squared, that's plus 1. So remember, you can always look back at the earlier videos and see if you forget how to do this. So that's plus 1 by 2. I need to subtract that out. So plus 1 by 2. I need to subtract that out to keep the equation balanced. Um, take away a little 2 from that now, eh? So this is going to be 2x minus 1 to be squared. Take away 15. And that's it, we completed the square. Yay! If you're finally looking, RL Dread cool here. Alright, some people may want to do this using the formula method and they want to really help out here. 2x squared minus 4x minus 13. Let me see how we're gonna do this using the formula method where we know h is gonna be b on 2a and we know k is equal to c minus b squared on 4a. So b on 2a is negative 4 on 2 by 2, which is 4, so this is negative 1. And k is going to be c, which is negative 13, take away b squared. And b squared is going to be negative 4 to b squared, which is the same as 4 to b squared, negative 4 to b squared. Over 4a, 4a, that's an x, that's 8. Alright, so that's equal to negative 13, take away 16 over 8. That's negative 13, take away 2, so that's negative 15. So if we substitute in for h and k, we're going to get the same thing that we got across there. 2x minus 1. Boy, look at that beautiful and right in that way. 2x minus 1 to be squared, take away 15. Alright, so we completed the square. Let's see what next we have to do. So what next? We are asked to find the values of x and which you graph cuts the x-axis. That's just a nice way of saying find the roots. That's just a nice way of saying find the roots, man. So we completed this square. So to find the roots, we can use the completed this square form. Um, where are you, my friend? We can use the completed this square form to just quickly find the roots. So let's see. Let's get a new page. 2 into x minus 1 to be squared. Take away 15 is equal to 0 equal to zero. So remember you can always look back and see how we do this. So this is 2 into x minus 1 to be squared. Bring across the 15. I'm just racing through this. x minus 1 is squared. 15 bring across the 2 to meters friend. Then we need to get the square root. To remove that we find the square root of both sides. So that's the square root of 15 over 2. This is plus or minus, right? So the square root, the square is eradicated from this side if we get the square root of both sides. And then we bring across the 1 to meters friend plus or minus the square root of 15 over 2. Bring across the 1 plus 1. 
All right, so when we put this into our calculator, we get x1 being negative 1.74 and x2 being, I think, 3.74. So let's see what's the next part in this question. We were asked to find the interval for which f of x is less than 0. So you need to put on a thinking cap for this one. The graph of this line will look like this. That will be the x-axis. When this graph is less than 0, it's this section of the graph here. So, all that's left for us to do is to put in the point negative 1.74 and 3.74 and x will be less than 0 between those two points. So x is less than or equal to 0, negative 1.74 and 3.74. Alright, so if you're faced with that in the exam, you're looking for the region between the roots. So your answer for that will be this interval. So I hope my sick tone not coming across too depressing. So let's do the last part of the question, the minimum value of fx and the value of x for which f of x is minimum. So if we looked at when we completed this square, we got this. The minimum value is the k value, so the minimum value of f of x is equal to negative 15 and the value of x when this occurs and the value of x for which this occurs at would be when x minus 1 is equal to 0 or in other words negative h so x is equal to positive 1 since h is negative 1 x is equal to positive 1 so this is the value where the minimum occurs and that brings us to the end of the question so that brings us to the end of the question i know i rushed it a little bit but right now we cool and everything just try to get this done so if you didn't understand it you can always look back at the previous video before this and compare and work along. I think you should be able to get it if you put some effort. So until next time, blessings. On FFA Push Out the next video today.